What is going on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video run good live here coming at you and today we are checking out some 2021 tops chrome light this is a box that I wanted to rip yesterday but it just arrived today and I'm glad that we're able to check it out sooner rather than, than later oh man I've just had some serious issues lately with tops.com shipping it took them almost five weeks to get me the few boxes of tops chrome took me a few weeks to uh, three weeks actually to get tops chrome light and I have no idea when I'm gonna see my tops uh, finest flashbacks which uh, is what I'm waiting on right now but either way I'm glad this box finally arrived and we're able to get it in today uh, so if you are happy if you're excited for this video go ahead hit that like button and if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it we just crossed over 13,000 subscribers on the channel so thank you Thank you so much, uh, and, and of course it doesn't uh, it doesn't hurt when we keep pulling big cards. So do we have one more in store? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, with some Topps Chrome Light, we are looking for the black and white mini diamond refractors, which are new this year. I think they look really cool. Um, Topps Chrome Light. This is kind of uh, we're starting to see this with Topps, and this is really like their answer to Panini's like H2 versions, the hobby hybrid versions of some products that we see, like with Select. I think we'll see it with Optic, with Don Rusk uh, football that was recently out. So this is Topps answer, just another way kind of for them to pump out another version of existing products with additional parallels. Um, it is what it is in the hobby, you know. We we know that the printing presses are going brr and just they're just printing things to the moon. We know that. I'm only burning my half. Um, but hey, this one did come in at a cheaper price point. I believe I picked these up on Tops.com for about a hundred bucks a pop. Currently reselling on the secondary market for about 130, 125, 140, somewhere around there. Um, so this is my first look. I've watched a couple of them get opened. Um, so hopefully we can see some big rookies, uh, kind of like the Key Brian Hayes Orange Refractor Auto that we pulled on Saturday night. That was a monster pull in our group breaks. Speaking of our group breaks, we are breaking tonight. We do have an MLB mixer. Uh, we also have a certified and optic NBA mixer. We also have an NFL three-year mixer as well as an NFL budget break, but that one is unfortunately sold out. So if you can, come hang out later tonight in the live stream, kicking off at about 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and rip into one of these and see what they're all about. You do get less cards than a hobby box of Topps Chrome. I believe it's um, 16 packs per box, 4 cards per pack. I believe you get 20 packs per box in a normal one. I did notice uh, when these arrived that the packs were kind of jumbled up um, because I could feel it being like very thick. You can see they're kind of like that. I felt the middle of the box very thick, so I hope that has uh, no impact on the condition of the cards, but it's always something to consider. Another thing that I found very, very interesting about this box as I was looking at my order, almost nowhere on the box does it say light. Now, I mean, there are some... Uh, you know, home of the uh, rookie auto. There are some signs to tell, obviously, in the hobby box. It says down here, two autos per box. Um, so it doesn't say that in here. But there's no, like, specific light designation, unless I'm just missing it. There's no, like, light or anything to indicate that this was a light box. So if you were maybe not detail-orientated, you could very easily mistake this for a hobby box. Just something that I noticed that was a little interesting to me. Um, so 16 packs per box, four cards per pack. Um, so definitely just uh, a little bit less cards and no guaranteed autos. And uh, hopefully uh, we can see something cool. So black and white mini diamond in our very first pack. Uh, we have Adonis Medina, Tanner Hoke, uh, Chris Paddock. And our first mini diamond looks like a... Oh, it's going to be an auto. But of course it is going to be a pitcher auto. Uh, that is going to be Nivaldo Rodriguez. Um, not numbered on that one. I was a little surprised that that was an auto in pack one. It's always, uh, it's always a fun little treat when you hit the auto in pack one. Um, so like I said, I don't think the autos are one per box. I don't even know uh, what the auto, what the odds are. Um, but we're going to kick it off with the Nivaldo Rodriguez on card mini diamond auto. Cool looking card. I do think that this parallel really, really pops under light. Really pops in hand. Really looks cool. Um... I, I've always liked like the negative refractors and the C, uh, CPU refractors. Um, so I think that this is just kind of a nice little addition to those. It's a cool touch. 
You know, I've been begging for Tops to do some innovative stuff um, in the last, uh, pretty much all year long. I just feel like these things are kind of starting to get a little stagnant. These sets are kind of looking a little bit too much like uh, 2019 or uh, 2020. Uh, Mackenzie right there, Dylan Carlson, 86. So uh, I've just been asking Tops, you know, I've, I've been hoping that Tops would, you know, maybe change it up, maybe do something different. Um, you know, the Sapphires of the world are very, very cool, but it's the, the cycle is starting to get a little repetitive. Ryan Braun, Steven Strasburg, Shane Bieber, and Devin Williams. It seems like, you know, even though they're unlicensed, uh, some of the Panini designs, especially uh, some of the parallels in Select and Prism and the upcoming Optic and uh, Mosaic Baseball, which I, I anticipate will be very good, um, they're really starting to outclass uh, tops in terms of design. So, I've lost my mojo! Uh, it's exciting to see Tops do at least a uh, at least something new in terms of refractors. Uh, Tatis right there on the baseball. I don't think I actually have that one. I am collecting this entire set. I like that one. My Mariners still in contention with about 11 games left. Hoping they're not going to break my heart here as we get to the end of the season. Hoping we can slide in. Even for that one one game wild card. Uh, uh, we, we need... We are... We are starved for playoff baseball up here in the Pacific Northwest. Kyle Tucker, we have a refractor. It's going to be JT Realamuto. We also have Nico Horner. I'm not sure exactly how many of the mini diamonds we're going to get, but there is a blue wave. So cool to see some color nonetheless. Ah, I was going to say that's the right logo. Not necessarily the right player. Anderson Tejada refractor behind it, though. Uh, that's going to be numbered to 75. 7 of 75, Eric Hosmer. I was going to say, if it's not Tatis, can we see Cronenworth? We're going to have to settle for Eric Hosmer. Let me know uh, in the comments. You guys uh, resp re responded to yesterday's. Let me know uh, yesterday's video. Let me know some of your best hits out of Topps Chrome. Let me know if you're going to open any Topps Chrome Light or if you have what your best hit was. Mike Trout base right there. Shin Suchu, we have another diamond. Gonna be Sixto Sanchez. That's gonna be a rookie for the Marlins. Rookie pitcher who, uh, if you've opened any baseball this year, there's a very good chance you've seen a Sixto Sanchez auto uh, because he is signing everything this year, it seems like. Him and Braylon Marquez are the two guys who just seem to be signing everything and every product for both uh, Tops and Panini. Uh, we have Mookie Betts, Kenta Maeda, Cabrian Hayes. I, I just talked about that. We did hit the orange auto to 25 on Saturday. Just a massive pull. By far my best pull that I pulled for somebody out of Topps Chrome. We also have Shane Bieber on the Prism Refractor. So again, nice little value rip right here for, you know, 100 bucks, which is only like 40 bucks more than the Mega Box. Um, of course, the retail components of Topps Chrome are... More expensive this year. Uh, we've seen that at Meyer and Fred Meyer, all or at Walmart's and Targets as well, all across the country as well as online. Tatis base. We have Ryan Mountcastle rookie. Uh, Jake Degrom refractor is going to be a second year of Jordan Alvarez. So uh, I do, at, in the grand scheme of things, I think that this is a pretty good price point coming in at that hundred dollars if you were able to scoop it off of Tops.com. Even on the secondary market at 125 bucks compared to the $200 hobby box, uh, I still think I like it. Of course, Topps Chrome has been a little bit rough. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie. We're pulling some decent rookies out of this box. Uh, Topps Chrome has been a little rough this year. A very large autograph checklist makes it very, very tough to get some of those big names. It seems like if you open a jumbo box, you're going to get four out of five autos are going to be pitchers. Um, so it just seems like Topps Chrome has been especially tough this year. Um, but I do like this box at this price point. Uh, Eugenio Suarez, Mookie Betts, Lewis Brinson, and a refractor is going to be Kevin Kiermeyer. Seem to be getting a lot of parallels, but I think we've only seen two diamond, two mini diamonds so far. So hopefully we can see at least one or two more. Would be nice. Luan Diaz, Kyle Seeger. Um, oh, there we go. That's a good one. Christian Patchy going to be for the Braves. Again, I really like the look of those. That is such a great looking card. Great looking parallel. Uh, you know, when Tops when Tops puts their mind to it, they can make some pretty cool looking cards. It's just 
last couple years, I feel like some of these sets have started to really look like each other and not really a big fan of the flagship design this year, but I do think it looks better on Chrome and I really like the look of this. So I am looking forward to Sapphire. Of course, it's hard to not like Sapphire. Shane McClanahan. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that. You know, 2021 Bowman Sapphire was amazing. Uh, looks like we have another color, uh, another blue. So this is going to be a blue to 150, I believe. Kiebert Ruiz rookie, Mike Yastrzemski. And uh, Mike Clevenger for the Padres. More Padres color, 135 of 150. So our other Padres color was a Hosmer blue wave to 75. Um, yeah, we're seeing quite a bit of color come out of this box. You know, uh, typically when I open a hobby box, typically we only see like a couple numbered and then some prism refractors and of course your two autos seems like this you see a little bit more color out of this box giolito spencer howard and a austin hayes prism refractor two packs left i want to thank you for joining me today again i will be live just a little bit later today in the channel so go ahead uh if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button if you turn on bell notifications you'll get notified when i go live refractor is going to be another hosmer and we have a Prismic Power that is going to be Mike Trout. Uh, somebody put out an interesting tweet earlier this week that said, uh, Jared Kelenic is superior to Mike Trout because he has more home runs than Trout this year. I thought that was pretty funny. Of course, Trout missing extended time. Uh, we have one mini diamond refractor left. Lorenzo Cain, Nick Senzel, Jorge Soler, and our final mini diamond. Oh, that's going to be a good one. That's Juan Soto. That is awesome. That is an awesome looking card. Now, the light is picking it up. If I hold it just right, you can see the catcher behind him. But if I don't hold it just right, all you're seeing is like speckles. But I assure you, there is a catcher and an umpire back there. Uh, you just can't see it because of... Uh, oh, that, that's awesome. If you... Yeah, this card looks... This looks so cool. I really like the look of these. So, uh, props tops. You did a good job on this one. These mini diamond refractors look good. Uh, kind of wanting to open another box of this stuff now. Let's go ahead take a look. We did have three really, really nice mini diamonds. We had an auto in this box. That was uh, Nivaldo Rodriguez. We also had the Patchy and the Juan Soto. I will definitely take those. And then we had some other stuff too. So a lot of value coming out of this box. Uh, we had the Hosmer Refractor, the Trout Prismic uh, to 150, Clevenger, Kiermaier, Mountcastle, Jordan, Cabrian Hayes, 86, we had a Sixto Sanchez mini diamond as well, a Hosmer to 75, so it looks like two numbered and four of the mini diamonds is what we pulled. Uh, Tatis and also Anderson Tejada. So overall, for 100 bucks, hey, that was a pretty good rip. Um, Top Chrome has been a little rough to me, but hey, maybe, maybe it's starting to look up uh, with the Cabrian Hayes last week, and now this box, pretty good. Don't know if we fully made money back, but... This was uh, one of the few times that I've truly enjoyed Top Scrum. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to come hang out with us, we're going to have a good time tonight. Uh, there are still spots open. That is going to do it for me today. I'm coming back tomorrow with some Donruss H2. So be on the lookout for that as we take our first look at that product. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you later tonight in the live stream.